Welcome to the 2020 National Technical Honor Society Virtual Graduation Event. I'm Peyton Holland, your Executive Director, and it's an honor to welcome you to a night where we get to celebrate and recognize our NTHS members who are part of the Class of 2020. Seniors, thank you all for the hard work and commitment you've had throughout your educational careers. You have represented not just the National Technical Honor Society incredibly well, but career and technical education all across this country. The hard work and effort you've put in to not only excel in your career and technical education field, but to be able to accomplish the feat of getting that certificate, degree, or diploma that was your educational objective. Thank you for that hard work. Thank you for that effort. And tonight is for you. We've got some special guests that'll be with us tonight. Seven of your peers who are part of the class of 2020 who are serving as our virtual valedictorians will be talking with us about some words of inspiration built around the seven attributes of our organization. We're going to have some fun shout outs from advisors and staff members across the country and then we're going to have a scroll to recognize all of those seniors who submitted photos. So thank you all for joining in tonight. Thank you all for the hard work you've put in class of 2020. You deserve to be honored, you deserve to be celebrated, and tonight is your night. So let's begin. Class of 2020, you have had an educational experience like no one before you, striving to master your skill and hone your craft when a global pandemic kept you out of your classrooms and your shops. But you did not let this obstacle stand in your way as you strove for excellence in career and technical education. You all have proven that you have what it takes to not only be a shining example of what an NTHS member should be, but how we should all strive to better ourselves. That's why we, at the National Technical Honor Society, have decided to extend your membership benefits. Anyone graduating in the year 2020 will be able to apply for scholarships, get letters of recommendation, and enjoy all of the benefits of NTHS membership for one full year beyond your graduation date. Class of 2020, we believe in you. Congratulations. Up next, we're going to hear from our virtual valedictorians, proud National Technical Honor Society members from all across the country who have stepped up to talk to us tonight about the seven attributes of our organization. Skill, leadership, scholarship, responsibility, citizenship, service, and honesty. Ladies and gentlemen, your National Technical Honor Society virtual valedictorians. Hello class of 2020, I am Tania Stowers, National Technical Honor Society member and 2020 graduate from Concord Career College in South Haven, Mississippi. And I want to talk to you about honesty. Honesty promotes openness, empowers us, and enables us to develop consistency in how we present ourselves. Honesty and seeking the truth is always the way to go. Honesty engenders confidence, faith, empowers our willpower, and represents us in the best way. Honesty is one of the key components to character and one of the most admired traits of any successful, responsible person. Success for me is not quantified in terms of dollars, sales, or numbers, or Facebook followers. I value success in terms of character, self-awareness, honest, honesty, emotional intelligence, and hard work. How we treat ourselves, others, and how we use our talents to improve the lives of others. Start today. First, by being as honest in you, as you can with yourself. Be honest about your thoughts, words, actions, and wants. And then think about your intentions with society and your personal relationships. Honesty should be carried on after graduation and throughout your life because it is the bedrock of your foundation as it will define who you are before you even allow others to know more about you. You will be one of the most respected, highly thought of person among your community, job, and everywhere you go. Honesty gets you where you want to go faster because you live how you really feel. You may not always know what you want in the future, whether it's one month, six months, or two years from now, but your honest intention will give you a feel for what in, what's in harmony with your heart. Honest, honesty, intentions, and speech, action gain the attention of respect of others. You will become one of one who not only wants to influence but be influenced by. 
Honesty will always be important throughout life. Honesty is the key to success. Thank you. I'm Jennifer Armstrong, valedictorian of Chase High School Class of 2020 and the vice president of the National Technical Honor Society Club at Chase. To me, one of the most important attributes of being a National Technical Honor Society member is scholarship. Scholarship is the distinctive marks of one who has mastered an area of learning. Scholarship is a key attribute, not only in school, but after graduation and throughout college and future life. Applying oneself to record scholastic achievements and continuing to apply themselves is a vital part of being a National Technical Honor Society member and continuing to work forward and achieve the high standard of excellence. Scholarship to me is so much more than just achieving the high standard or becoming an expert in a field. There is all the hard work, dedication, and consistency that contributes to that success. Being a scholar and having high academic achievements doesn't come easily, which is why scholarship is a key instrument in being a National Technical Honor Society member and beyond. My name is William Bishop, president of the Jesse O. Sanderson High School chapter of the National Technical Honor Society in Raleigh, North Carolina. And I will be discussing a trait that is most coveted, skill. Skill is the ability to do a task well, whether coming from your knowledge, practice, or aptitude. To achieve success in both your career and in your life, you must be skillful in all you do. And as graduates of the class of 2020, we have spent the past 13 years ensuring that our skill is finely honed to suit whatever we may face after high school. I have confidence in our skills as scholars, students, workers, and people and I believe that we will be able to complete any task we put our minds to. To quote a cliche, the world is at your fingertips. We have our entire lives ahead of us, and I have seen firsthand the wondrous potential that we, the class of 2020, have, especially in these trying times. Even though we didn't get the graduation we were all anticipating, I look to the future and smile, because I know that with the class of 2020 out in the world, it will truly be a sight to behold. Yet as we look to the future, I encourage you to reflect on the past. Look at these years and ask yourselves, what skills have you obtained that will ensure your success? And how will you continue to develop and use those skills for good in the future? Thank you. My name is Katherine Smith and I'm a graduate of Northwestern High School and a completer at Applied Technology Center. I am honored to speak to you today. What does leadership look like in today's world? Mother Teresa once said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples. This will be our challenge as we, the class of 20, 20, strive to make a difference in the world. As we begin our new journey after high school, our roles as leaders will continue to grow. It will be important to use our skills to bring people together to make an impact in our communities and beyond. As members of the National Technical Honor Society, we can lead the way to initiate change, inspire action to achieve great things. The class of 2020 is a great opportunity to make our world better and stronger. I encourage you to dream big, continue learning, and find your passion. It's now time to go forward and create your own path. Congrats, 2020! Greetings, class of 2020! I'm Lenny Tai president of my chapter's NTHS at St. Stephen's High School, located in the Catawba County Schools District, also located in Hickory, North Carolina. Today, I'll be talking to you about the importance of citizenship and community within the National Technical Honor Society, as well as throughout the many outlets of our lives. Ever since you were born, you are a citizen of a community. Ever since you were born, you have contributed to the well-being of this community. With that being said, Citizenship is ever-present, and once you're in the cycle of helping your community, it feels so rewarding to continually keep giving back when you can and are able to. It feels like one has come full circle when you are able to show your gratitude and give back to your mentors, teachers, advisors, counselors, administration, managers, boss, co-workers, and so on. Citizenship, and within that, community, is one of the core pillars of what the National Technical Honor Society stands for. With the careers and education our graduating seniors are about to embark in, 
it would be impossible to be where we are today without our community backing us. Being a positive, active member in your community does not necessarily mean you have to join a club or organization such as ours to give back. One can give back in a multitude of ways and means. One person can make a difference no matter how minimal or profound it may be. Class of 2020, I challenge you to be that bigger someone aspires to be as you continue your as you continue to further your education, your craft, your careers, and your goals, and your dreams. The sky is limitless, and your community, wherever that may be, will always be there to cheer you on and watch you thrive. Although this year may have been choppy, I know the impact we make as a community in these unclear and unprecedented times will one day contribute to our success as a community, state, country, and world. Congrats, Class of 2020. Let's make our mark. And of course, let's celebrate. One of the good things about being a member of NTHS is learning responsibility. Being an NTHS member is, has been an honor. And I just want to point out that not only is it hard work, but the hard work pays off. As a 2020 graduate from pre-nursing at Tech, I decided to take on a re huge responsibility of caring for others and helping older people. Helping the elders in a nursing home or assisted living takes a lot of responsibility because not only do you need to show up for them, you also need to be able to physically help them. It, this isn't a job to take lightly. It means that we are the patient's advocate and their lives are in our hands day and night. I can say that responsibility doesn't start when you leave school, it only begins. Being an NTH member has shown me how to be helpful and that people can rely on me. It taught me accountability and dependability and to strive to always bring forth my best effort. My name is Jaden Lavisher and I approve this message. To all the graduates and the class of 2020, and on behalf of the National Technical Honor Society, congratulations. My name is Nyashi Shai Belcher, president of the National Technical Honor Society chapter at Walkertown High School in Walkertown, North Carolina. Out of the seven National Technical Honor Society attributes that define a member of this outstanding career in technical organization, service is one of the most distinctive skills you will need throughout your life. As we all know, service can take many forms to various people across the world. To me, service is volunteering, giving our time, talent, and treasure to better our communities and loved ones we so graciously care for. The great thing about service is that it does not matter how much or how little you do for others. My family holds strongly to the saying, you get out what you put in. So if you volunteer in a purposeful way, then a return will gradually form for you. It is the passionate conversations, radiant smiles, affectionate love, sense of pride, and self-fulfillment you get when you serve others, because truthfully, serving is priceless. Here's a little bit of advice. Metaphorical doors that seem closed before do open up just by serving together. Assisting others create a two-way street with dashed lines. Dash lines allow the mingling of both sides to intertwine and form a universal bond. Some may say, well, that only causes crashes, but I can promise you that the lessons learned from those interactions will enhance your life forever. This is the importance of serving, bettering yourself and the ones you helped to be prosperous. Thank you. Up next is a special segment to recognize our seniors. We had over 600 photo submissions from students and teachers all across the country wanting to recognize our NTHS Class of 2020. Now, if you don't see your picture here or you didn't get to submit your photo for whatever reason, that's okay. Go ahead and throw that cap and gown on, grab your NTHS graduation regalia, take a photo and tag us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. You find the social media you want to use and we'll be there to honor and celebrate and support you. Class of 2020. Tonight is for you. Congratulations.
And tonight we close with some special words of encouragement and support from a group of people who impact lives in NTHS across this country on a daily basis. That's our NTHS advisors. These individuals work incredibly hard to make sure that our students not only have the knowledge and skill that they need, but are given the rich opportunities and experiences that are gonna help them move forward, not only in their education, but in their careers. NTHS members, I hope you know how much your advisors love, support, and believe in what you do. So tonight, we're closing with those words of wisdom and inspiration from a group of people that make this all possible from each and every one of us. Advisors, thank you for the work that you do. And advisors, if you didn't get to submit a video, feel free to drop some words of encouragement in the comments for the class of 2020, or go ahead and record a video and send it in, and we'll get it posted on social media. Class of 2020, you've got a great group of cheerleaders, supporters, and empowering individuals behind you. Please don't forget them as you move on to your next step. Come back, share that wisdom, that love and encouragement they shared with you with students in the future. That's our duty as members of this organization as we continue to strive for excellence in career and technical education. It's our duty to share that passion, that talent, that skill, and that love for our craft with others around us, just as our advisors have done with us. So ladies and gentlemen, as we close tonight, Thank you for supporting the class of 2020. Thank you for representing the National Technical Honor Society in Career and Technical Education. Graduates, congratulations. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. My name is Kate Allen. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for the National Technical Honor Society. And I just want to give a really big shout out to all of you around the country who are graduating this year. These are unprecedented times, and although you're not getting to have a traditional graduation, everyone is recognizing you, very, very proud for your accomplishments, and look forward to seeing what you're gonna do out in the world to make a difference. So congratulations again, and thank you so much. Welcome to our virtual NTHS graduation ceremony. Class of 2020, my name is Alyssa Morganti and I'm a teacher and NTHS advisor at Ralph R. McKee Career and Technical Education High School in Staten Island, New York. I wanted to congratulate you guys on graduating and everything that you've been through this year. You guys are truly resilient. Whether you go into the career fields or straight to college, you guys are going to accomplish amazing things and I can't wait to see it. I'm so proud of each of you. Congratulations. Hello, this is Ming Batner of Maryville, Missouri. I would just like to give a big shout out to the graduating class of 2020 and members of the National Technical Honor Society. I know this is not the way you envision your year to be, but you made it. Congratulations and best wishes for a bright future. Hi class of 2020, my name is Heather Wargo and I'm an NTHS advisor at Brooks Green Technology Center in Ole, Pennsylvania. And I just like to say, you have gone through something no other graduating class has ever gone through. And now you have the opportunity to be stronger than ever because of it. Embrace it. Let it focus you on your goals and ambitions because you have seen how quickly the world can change. Know that you are stronger and more determined because you have this chapter in your story. Congratulations, class of 2020. Congratulations. You did it. Alan Powell, co-founder of NTHS and executive director here for 35 years and recently retired. Congratulations and well done, NTHS class of 2020. This would be a year we will all long remember, both for the good times we've had and for the times lost at school and college. You, the class of 2020, have persevered in spite of this and we are very proud of you. We at NTHS wish you the very best as you move into the future, as you move ahead. We expect that you will continue to excel. Don't dwell on the past. Don't dwell on the future. That's where your life and success lie now. My recommendation is to go for it. Best of luck. Hello, 2020 graduates. Congratulations on your accomplishments in NTHS, in your CTSOs, and in everything else you did while in high school. We hope you move on to the next phase of your life, whether it's college or workforce or going into the military, um, looking forward to what awaits you, new challenges, new opportunities. We hope you found your passion in high school through career tech, and you can carry that into your life. 
Hello, I am Shirley Devon, NTHS Advisor at Tennessee College of Applied Technology, Nashville. I am beyond thrilled and honored just to have a few words of encouragement to the graduates of 2020. I am sure you all must be disappointed that you will not be able to participate in a live graduation. But I want you to know that I celebrate and I recognize all of your hard work and accomplishments. On behalf of President Mark Lenz and all the faculty and staff at Tennessee College of Applied Technology, we salute you and we are so very proud of you. Congratulations, Class of 2020. Continue to make a positive difference in the world. Thank you. Hey guys, Mr. Ormeda here from Oak Leaf High School, Orange Park, Florida. I know you probably didn't picture your graduation to look like this, but let me tell you, please don't let this pandemic, don't let this setback define who you are because we are super proud of you and what you had accomplished this year. Thank you for being a part of the National Technical Honor Society and I do want to extend my congratulations to Class 2020. Love you guys. Congratulations to the Class of 2020 from the great state of Oklahoma. I'm Andrea Verser. As local NTHS advisor for Canadian Valley Technology Center, I have been honored to prepare my students for success in business and industry. As state chair for the Oklahoma National Technical Honor Society Council for the 2019-2020 school year, I have been humbled by our state's amazing advisors and top-notch OK NTHS members. Class of 2020, I challenge you to apply the seven attributes of NTHS. Skill, honesty, service, responsibility, growth, citizenship, and leadership in your next steps in life. Class of 2020, CTE students, you are the heartbeat of America's workforce. Congratulations. I'd like to give a huge shout out to the Madison Park Technical Vocational High School Class of 2020. My name is Tanika DeGrace. I'm the National Technical Honor Society Advisor. On behalf of Mr. McCaskill, Mr. Gomes, and Ms. Acosta, we'd like to say congratulations to the Class of 2020. We wish you well and good luck. And remember, you're a cardinal for life. MP. Hello from Southeast Georgia. I just wanted to say congratulations to our NTHS graduates. It's amazing that you've come this far, but don't forget to keep learning, keep growing, and be kind. Congratulations. Hi, my name is Kim Zebarth, and I'm an Associate Commissioner with the Utah System of Technical Colleges and a board member for the National Technical Honor Society. I want to congratulate you on your graduation. Not only do you embody the knowledge and skills that are in demand today, but you're also on a clear pathway to serve tomorrow's workforce. Business and industry guide the development of our technical education programs. Outstanding faculty made sure that you receive the most current and relevant skills that are needed by those employers. You are the product of this meaningful partnership. I want to recognize you for your exceptional performance in technical education. You stood out to the teachers and school leaders as having the highest potential to be successful in the workforce. Through the National Technical Honor Society, you earned our endorsement as the most employable students. You've earned our trust to carry the value of technical education to our partner employers and to your community. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. You're an awesome group of students. You've accomplished so much in spite of all the challenges that you faced. Uh, don't let anything or anybody stop you from achieving your goals in the future. We wish you nothing but the best. And again, we're so proud of you. Congratulations from Tupelo Career Technical Center. Hello, from Carroll High School, South Lake, Texas. Class of 2020, I wanna wish you a wonderful graduation. Job well done, you guys persevered and you did it. Have a wonderful summer and make your dreams come true. 
Hey, class of 2020 graduates, congratulations, you did it, hooray! This is Carol Kasmerick. I'm the chapter development director for NTHS, and I just wanted to give a huge, huge shout out to all of you. What an amazing job you have done with this incredibly challenging year. You guys nailed it, you knocked it out of the park, and you rocked it. We expect great things from you, and we know you will continue to make us proud. Congratulations. Hi everybody, Annie here. I am your Georgia State NTHS Director. And from myself and all of Georgia, congratulations to the class of 2020. Hi, my name is Tiffany Cooper and I'm the advisor for the Isothermal Community College National Technical Honor Society chapter. That's a mouthful. And I just wanted to take time to say Congratulations to all of our National Technical Honor Society members who are graduating. It is a, a difficult time right now in our country and we're doing what we can to recognize you guys and all the hard work that you've done to be able to become a member of this society with maintaining your grades and um, just achieving the goals that you set out to achieve. So congratulations and I wish you well in your future endeavors. Success favors a prepared mind. And that's what I think of when I think about the 2020 graduates. Greetings, I'm Desi Hall from Atlanta Technical College. I am so proud of you. You proved that you were unstoppable. You didn't let COVID-19 stop you. You didn't let nothing stop you. And now it's your time. I am so proud of you. Now it's time for you to pursue the job of your dreams, to create the business you desire, and make a positive impact in your community. You can do it. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. G O O D J O B. Good job, good job. I am proud. You should be. You did it. Congratulations. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. We're happy to celebrate with you and your family. Congratulations. <laughs> hey there, NTHS family. It's William Bradshaw, NTHS advisor at Reedsville High School in Reedsville, North Carolina. Just letting you know that I am proud of each and every one of you, whether you are a Reedsville High School graduate, a graduate of any high school in North Carolina, or any place around the country. To be an NTHS member is not easy. It is difficult to become a member, and that makes you excellent for doing so. So, class of 2020, congratulations. We're all proud of you. You're awesome. Congratulations, class of 2020. You are rock stars. 